This segment brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. I'm Dr. Kevin Donnelly, a professor of agronomy at Kansas State University. Uh, today we're here working with our uh, Kansas Foundation for Ag in the Classrooms uh, summer workshop for, uh, for teachers, and so we're pleased uh, to be able to participate in that. Um, we do a number of activities here involving plants and soils. This is uh, also uh, the International Year of Soils, so we've uh, put a special emphasis on soils this, uh, this year as well. Uh, one of the experiments that, uh, or demonstrations that I always like to uh, show the, uh, the teachers that they can use uh, for showing children uh, the impact of, uh, uh, of soil erosion is uh, just a little simple display. It doesn't cost a lot. It's made out of foil pans. Um, and uh, a couple of two-by-fours and you can do it on a curb here. So what we've done is set up uh, uh, some pans of soil and uh, we have uh, a bare soil. We have uh, cut up a little uh, thin layer of sod to, to put on uh, one of the uh, pans and then the other one we had a residue cover um, that uh, is some straw or leaves. You could use whatever you want. So um, then we have done the uh, demonstration that uh, you'll see to show that uh, the uh, residue cover or the grass cover will protect that soil from the impact, impact of the raindrops where the bare soil uh, will show a lot of erosion in terms of water moving off, soil moving off, the water comes off uh, with a lot of uh, soil particles in it. And uh, so it's a good easy demonstration to show um, uh, an, an inexpensive way to show the impact of cover on soil to prevent soil erosion. Uh, the other thing that we uh, uh, talked about this morning. Uh, we've had a focus on nutrients. Uh, we've had uh, a presentation from a uh, 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 staff piece person from uh, Nutrients for Life. Uh, we've also talked about uh, the different nutrients and what plants need for uh, to get from attain from the soil. And we've also talked quite a bit about the advantage of legume crops which are able to fix their own nitrogen from the air uh, through the interaction with the rhizobium bacteria that live in the nodules. So uh, this morning we're out uh, in the field, uh, looking here just in a, um, a lawn here on campus, and we were able to find uh, some white clover and bird's foot trefoil and uh, sweet clover, red clover. These are just kind of growing along with our grass here, and even a weedy species called black medic that's also a legume. And so uh, we're looking at those uh, nodules which live, uh, which are formed on the root system that the bacteria live within to perform the uh, nitrogen fixing process. So. Um, something that uh, we kind of don't even know is happening sometimes. So again, a very important uh, process because it provides us with nitrogen that uh, we don't have to use as fertilizer or as much fertilizer uh, on legume crops compared to what we do on wheat and corn and sorghum and our grass crops. So one of our main objectives uh, with Ag in the Classroom and as well in our education efforts, uh, we've, we talk a lot about STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are kind of those basic uh, core disciplines that we can apply then um, into um, something that is uh, a career opportunity, um, an opportunity to help feed the world, to provide um, to provide for uh, human needs. And so agronomy, uh, plant science, application, using crops, uh, uh, growing crops, learning about. So we work with the teachers to try to start to bring some of these agricultural uh, examples and we'll also talk about animal examples this afternoon. Um, to utilize that in teaching to help uh, bring science and math and technology into uh, a, at a practical application that uh, hopefully will inspire some students uh, to seek out careers in these areas. And so we've had a very strong demand in our area of agronomy for uh, students, uh, graduates to work in the area of uh, seed and fertilizer and protecting our environment. So we're all about uh, trying to get that, uh, that seed, if you will, planted at the elementary age. Grain sorghum is one of the most important cereal crops worldwide, and Kansas leads the nation in its production. Over the years, sorghum has been either exported, used in animal feed domestically, or for other industrial uses. Recently, its use in the ethanol market has seen tremendous growth, with 30% of domestic sorghum typically going to ethanol production. Kansas Grain Sorghum is committed to sorghum research, market development, and education. Learn more at ksgrainsorghum.org.